Last week, I defined the limit. Well, I mostly defined the limit. I left out a particular case last week, which will be the focus of this week. Last week, for the output of limits, I used the symbol infinity to mean growing larger and larger without bounds. I can use that symbol for the input of the limit as well. This produces limits at infinity. At infinity, of course, is metaphorical, since getting to infinity isn't what limits are about. They're about understanding the process. In this case, the process of the input to a function getting larger and larger without bound. So, in writing the limit as x goes to infinity, I'm asking what happens as the input to a function gets arbitrarily large. The first statement here says that as x gets larger and larger without bound, the output f of x gets closer and closer to some number l. The second statement says as x gets larger and larger without bound, the output also gets larger and larger without bound. And the third says the same, but the output is negative. The last three here are similar as well, except that the input is now becoming a larger and larger negative number, again larger and larger without bound. For limits last week, an infinite limit produced a vertical asymptote. Here there are also lines that the function, function produces, horizontal lines called horizontal asymptotes. Any limit of this type, either the limit approaching positive or negative infinity, where the function stabilizes, produces a horizontal asymptote. This graph shows a function with two horizontal asymptotes. As x approaches infinity, the input goes off the graph to the right. The function levels off and approaches a line. As x approaches negative infinity, the input goes off the graph to the left, and the function again levels off and approaches a line. Vertical asymptotes from last week presented places where the function grew rapidly without bound, shooting up towards infinity. Horizontal asymptotes are sort of the opposite. They present places where the function slowly levels off as the input goes on and on, either in the positive or negative directions. Note in the graph that the horizontal asymptote can be different in the positive or negative direction. The function doesn't have to level off to the same value in both directions.